Just down the road from all that music making, there's a new exhibition at the Arts Council Gallery. It's work by Jeremy Henderson, who's for Manor born and now lives in London. In a series of large-scale paintings, he interprets the landscape of his native county with a bold palette of greens, blues, reds, browns and purples, blending into a misty impression of the Irish countryside. I met Jeremy Henderson earlier this week at the private view of his exhibition. Well, I think if you're going to do landscape painting, you've got to pick a landscape you know well. And I basically work from memory. I'm not interested in working from photographs or reference drawings or anything. Because I think that kills a painting. And I suppose they have a kind of... Uh, they're about the past and my past. There are so many chocolate boxy landscapes of Irish countryside. You've obviously tried to steer well away from that style. Well, I think if you're a trained painter, the problem is... Um, if you've got an Irish background, there is a tradition in Irish painting and the dominant one has always been um, landscape painting. And it's a, it's a good tradition, but unfortunately in the last kind of 30 years it's been hijacked by people. Anybody thinks they can paint a landscape. And it is easy to paint a landscape as opposed to painting a figure. Um, but it's a, it's a good tradition in a sense and I'm prepared to um, explore it. And the problem for me is that, yes, it is a trap in a sense because um, it's about people's awareness of landscape painting. I mean, internationally, landscape painting now is, uh, is a bona fide type of form to work in. Uh, but in Ireland, it still has this idea of like it's almost an advertisement for the tourist board. Certainly, if you stand in Fermanagh overlooking Loch Erne, you're aware of a great sweep of landscape and you've certainly allowed yourself plenty of space on canvas take this painting in front of us here, the rest is missing. I mean, what are the dimensions of that, just to explain to people listening? Um, I suppose it's um, 10 feet across and it's about 7.5 feet high. And it's mostly water and sky. And it's sitting on a wall that's about 16 feet across. The whole idea is about this, working on this scale is for the painting to literally affect the size of the wall. And you can have a very large painting with um, almost... Um, nothing in it, in a sense of very little happening on the surface of the painting, but um, the actual scale carries it. Okay.